my channel, Coin Lady, is pleased to have you back. Currently, our position is at approximately 47 and one half cents. For XRP, it was a really good day. However, the pricing remained unchanged. On top of that, I'm curious to watch the market reaction to MICA going live. I don't anticipate any unforeseen changes, but I do anticipate that things will progress gradually. One last command for XRP. Final chance to purchase XRP at a price below 50 cents. After that, $5.89 on top of that, we still have no idea if the worst has happened. Every every day, everyone calls it. Look at this. I know we've hit rock bottom, but I keep seeing folks predict we'll fall to 40 cents before we take off. You know, all you have to do is sit back, wait for things to happen, and buy whatever you can afford to lose. A surge is on the way, we'll just have to wait. The impending arrival is a known fact. It will happen eventually, all we can do is wait. Companies like Vocal Link, which offer speedier payment mechanisms, are privately held. One such scheme is the Rapid Pay in Thailand. UK is paid, UK is no different. With the help of ACI, Vocal Link is now able to incorporate Ripple for instant payments. Check out this voice connection for Volante's new bank integration accelerator that will shake up the clearinghouse, the brains behind the RTP network. With TCH's RTP integration with Ripple, the ACI Ripple cooperation helps spread and use real-time payments across the US. Thailand is currently preparing to launch their CBDC, which is why I wanted to share this with you. Next, I'll demonstrate how it is connected to Ripple. The money has an expiration date and may only be spent within a specific radius. A 15-minute city is as it sounds. Everything else is bound to go up in price the moment they give you something for free. And you'd notice that they went at families with modest incomes. Their target audience for CBDCs is going to be anybody without money, which is why I'm constantly telling you to grow rich before one comes. Those individuals will be the ones they lead to a CBDC. When it occurs, it's noticed even in America. Send money to Japan and Thailand using Ripple SBI. Combine BRICS with RP. Numerous connections can be made to BRICS and XRP. Inside every nation, you'll find Ripple Rail. XRP will serve as a bridge currency for the Federal Reserve. Its arrival is already anticipated. This has been a long-term warning. Right now. No matter how many videos I make, people will inevitably bring up the price of XRP and ask when it will take off. The next thing they know, they're asking when exactly this will take place in 2030. When this occurs, it will be abrupt. It will simply occur simultaneously, when no one is expecting us. Instantaneous international payments and currency exchanges are possible on the Ambridge platform, which accepts digital currencies from many central banks. International money transfers are made as easy as sending an email, even with my tinfoil hat on, through this digital bridge that connects multiple countries and financial systems. I can see a world where the United States and other major powers intentionally militarized SWIFT in order to implement Project Ambridge and distributed ledger technology, which would make the global financial system more transparent. The new financial system is Project and Bridge, in my honest opinion. And I'll explain it to you. Here on their website, Enbridge denies using any cryptocurrency, ledger, or XRP. However, take a peek at the affiliated businesses. As a result, you may observe that Standard Chartered is a Ripple partner, as is HSBC. Behind the scenes, Ripple has also been collaborating with several of these banks. Therefore, it will still use RippleNet technology and potentially XRP, and it will be a Ripple partner even if it isn't Ripple directly. The World Bank, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, and the Saudi Arabian Development Bank are all examples of bridge banks. Ripples is now collaborating with other local banks on its CBDC. But listen up, crypto enthusiasts, those who fail to see the forest for the trees are claiming that Ambridge will not include XRP and Ripple. However, Ambridge is already a part of BIS, and BIS is the one constructing this. Additionally, XRP and Ripple are adored by the BIS. 
they mentioned XLM and EPXRP. Also, the IMF has done this on many occasions before. Additionally, CBDCs have already put up Ripple Rails inside this location, and the World Bank is doing the same. Using RippleNet technology, the central banks are constructing their CBDC. Keep in mind that I demonstrated the Fed relationship since we are always linked. Thus, another link has been established. I will thus conclude that on June 18. The involvement of Tencent and Ambridge began in September 2023, and the company is currently taking part in the MVP validation of use cases including cross-border payments. Its purpose is to improve the standard of settlement and clearing services that span international borders. We also know that Tencent is involved because the Chinese tech company has been collaborating with Ripple for six years and has invested $200 billion in the technology. They began collaborating with Ripple when Ripple installed many of these rails in the past. Accordingly, I believe that individuals who claim that Enbridge and the BRICS will not use Ripple and XRP are completely mistaken. Bitcoin does not have any backing and is not a store of value, the central bank's trustworthy system is called Project Ambridge. It's only a means of trade. Value declines in the event of a halt to the exchange. Once again, the same interconnected central banks, the ones with ties to Enbridge, the best of them all, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, are all predicting Bitcoin's demise. After this next surge, Bitcoin will no longer be relevant, the entire space is moving away from excitement and foolishness. People keep claiming that Bitcoin might power an entirely new monetary system, but that will never happen. If banks are warning you that Bitcoin won't be around in the future, you should pay attention. Innovating at its finest, the cross-border payments platform, Project M Bridge, has reached the minimum viable product stage and is inviting private sector enterprises to suggest new solutions and use cases. This is a country's central bank, as you can see from the inside. Perhaps that nation is expanding its infrastructure by use of RippleNet technology. A liquidity pool would thus be formed. There will be connections to other central banks as well, everything will be interdependent. Additionally, large liquidity pools will emerge in many countries, with XRP serving as a medium of exchange for international transfers between these nations. However, XRP and XLM will also be utilized for domestic payments within these nations. The magnitude of this undertaking is beginning to become apparent. Still, it seems like everyone is trying to convince you that Bitcoin is the way to go. The reason I'm not completely opposed to Bitcoin is that I believe it will have one more incredible surge. If I were a store worker, though, I'd bolt the moment it happened. Franklin Templeton, even BlackRock has admitted that their motivation is practical considerations. Bitcoin isn't their focus, exchange-traded funds were merely a stepping stone for financial institutions to better understand cryptocurrency. A level of utility will be the next logical step for all these institutions. Looking at XRP now, with a price of less than 48 cents, it's difficult to imagine it reaching high digits, but it will happen. Now is the moment to keep adding XRP to your stack so that you can enjoy the ride when it takes off. The number of people stating things like I'm ready to sell my XRP out of frustration and just bought more XRP seems to be growing daily. Wait for it to happen, all you have to do is buy XRP, remove it from the exchange, and then put it on the ledger or disassemble your wallet. It's coming this year, and everyone is predicting that 2024 will be a big one. At long last, the year's second half has arrived. Bye for now, and please subscribe and like my channel.